45 years in the business, what have you learned? Uh, well, you, you, the more you learn, the more you learn what you, that you don't know much. You know, that's really what you learn. I don't think that I've learned a bunch of transferable things that I could tell somebody else. Um, I've learned that you just don't know what's going to happen, that you, you honestly don't know, and the, therefore the only thing you can do is what you love. You do what excites you and hope for the best. Uh, what have I learned in my career? Hmm. How little I know. <laughs> and so probably that makes me less afraid and more in awe of the thing itself, of the opportunity. I, I feel like I, I've gotten so many opportunities to play so many interesting women. And um, I just feel like I'm just beginning to understand how to get in, how to do it. And each one is different. Each one pre presents a different set of problems and opportunities. And uh, I, I still love doing it, so. The big, big pressure is to do, just to, to do a, an excellent day's work and to make sure, again, that everybody's hard work, everybody's contribution is not being squandered. So the, the pressure that might come with wanting to do a great day's work is almost always ameliorated by the fact that one is working with tremendously gifted people on hopefully a very strong piece of material, and good things happen almost all the time. Uh, and, and is, yeah, in 20 years, I've learned, uh, I've learned maybe that I don't know anything, and I just keep trying to learn. And uh, I mean, I, I, I get more experienced, and maybe I get better at my craft. But I think, you know, in terms of maybe more confident in terms of how to speak to actors or where to put the camera. But I also know that I don't know anything, and I like going into situations that I don't know. How, you know, like with 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 every movie, they're always. Like, I don't know how to make a movie before I've made it, or, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, I think I, I'm motivated in, by the same things of, like, putting myself in situations that I don't know how to do and trying to, t trying to, with the help of my friends, dig our way out of it and, uh, and get, get, get something in the end that's as close to the feeling that I set out with as possible. So in all these years, what have you learned? I, I tell you, man, I, I learned that I don't know anything and that I'm trying to, it sounds like a cliche, but it's true. I'm learning every day new things. And, uh, you know, and I just hope that that adage about teaching old dogs new tricks doesn't work because I, I want to learn some new tricks. I like the business and I like that kind of thing. I'm a romantic about Hollywood. Um, I don't live in Hollywood. I like, I understand the flaws of Hollywood and what goes on there and the, the fear and the who's in and who's out, who's up, who's down. These simplicity, this, these simple-minded things that aren't correct really. They're, they're not really a measure of, of someone's value. Just the same way we value movies. Oh, box office, opening weekend, isn't the true value of a movie. But, it's, but it is that right now. So I can't yell in the wind and say that's not the true value because I got, the whole world is telling me that it is. Instead of fighting against that, what I just have to do is hold on in my mind and go, what is the real value of a movie? It's, to me, it's will it be shared five years from now? Will it be shared 10 years from now? Will it have application to someone's life? And um, for me, that's how I really know what I think a great movie is, is its willingness to be taken off the shelf and shared. So, you know, it's been that for me. And it's, for whatever reason, it's still an uphill battle for me because I, I don't fall out of love with things I fall in love with. So when I read a great story, I know that somehow I'm going to make it. The problem is I'm, I'm not always a big enough economic engine to do it. So I have movies that I think can be like, can be commercial, 
but they don't necessarily fit into a box that, you know, that makes it easy. So those who think that, oh, I should be able to do whatever I want to do, it's not that way for me. It's not that way out there. That the most important thing is the process, not even the result. The, pro the process of doing it, making it. Uh, because the result, the result is totally unpredictable. And the good ones, you know, we're talking about that mystical thing that happens. The good ones take on a, a, an energy from someplace, that, and you cannot make that happen. All you can do is prepare the groundwork so that it can happen. But you can't make it itself happen. So that the only thing that matters, the, the most important thing to me is the process of making the movie. And what is the most important part of the process? Oh, all of it. Uh, when I'm shooting, there are 124 people on the set. Any one of them can, can ruin this movie. And so, again, my job is to get everyone functioning at their absolute highest level of creativity. Do you have a secret of how you do that? No. Just pay attention, pay a lot of attention. That's why it's tiring. How do you get the best out of somebody? Don't know, because everybody's different. There is, there's no formula on it. It's like all work. There is no formula. You just uh, listen and uh, pay attention and do your work and make sure that your work is as responsible as you want theirs to be. I wouldn't have thought really that I was cut out to to have a life which was so public in the working part of it because making a film was a very very public thing and, and you're surrounded with many 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 different people and you have to constantly uh, interact with them in all sorts of ways hour after hour after hour month after month and so on and I wouldn't have thought that by temperament, I'd be the kind of person who would actually want to do that. And the opposite has been true, that in fact, I was probably meant to do that. And that was that I, I mean, I'm happy in that environment with a lot of people and a lot of noise and, and uh, uh, constantly having to make up my mind about something and, and being a diplomat this moment and a tyrant the next and all this kind of thing. and. Um, as I say, you always have to get your own way. way. That's, I suppose, what I... If you want to make something uh, in the arts, you have to have your own way. And I suppose that's what's come out of 50 years of, of making movies. I hope something more, but... So what have I learned? What have you learned? I've learned that I know very little. And that the best way to face all of this is just to be a beginner all the time. Never assume you know anything. You know, we all learn along the way, and God knows if, if you stop learning, you might as well just check out altogether. Stay open, stay clean, stay true, but stay a beginner always. That uh, you can't uh, count on anything, that's for sure. <laughs> but you never know. I think. Uh, It's hard to trust yourself because it's such a uh, tentative existence. But when you do, you usually wind up doing better work. You tr you, if you trust your, your gut. It's also, you know, uh, what, I've, what I've learned is also that I used to think it was always the part that was more important. And I think now probably it's almost the people that I work with, that's more important than even the role sometimes. I would say overall, because that's what makes the experience something. Uh, I've certainly seen the business change somewhat. Uh, uh, the kinds of films that I used to be able to make and make a nice living at and turn down big movies, now those films are harder to make. And if they are made, they don't want to give you any you know, they want you to do it for basically nothing. Uh, so uh, I, I know that that's harder to do. Uh, and I know that there's usually, a, 
if you do something good, there's usually a price you have to pay in order to do that in some ways, unless you're really, really fortunate. And, and, I, and I think most of all I've learned is that, you know, the relationships that I've had, uh, the friendships I've formed out of that, those to me are the most meaningful things than even, like, you know, being in a quote-unquote something successful. Because those relationships allow you to do things that you, that feed you. And uh, even if the whole thing isn't successful, because you, you went about it the right way, like I did Miller's Crossing, that wasn't a successful movie, but that really fed me a lot, you know. And, uh, you know, I did something in it that meant something to me. So it didn't have to be, you know, money is not everything. Because some great movies have been complete failures when they came out. So, uh, and uh, you just have to stand the test of time. I, I always knew that. You know, I, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't get started as a 21-year-old, so, uh, which I'm glad about. I've tried to learn to keep my mouth shut as much as possible. I've tried, I've tried to learn not to speak so much. And so these things, these interviews are very difficult for me. I've tried to learn to be quiet, silent. Uh, what did I learn? What did I learn is that more you learn, less free you are. When you know nothing about filmmaking, filmmaking is easy. More you learn, more difficult it's becoming, you know. But uh, no, 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 it's, uh, it's, first of all, and this is sort of silly to say, don't fight the technical progress. It's, uh, you know, I, like I insisted to edit at the first time on uh, the cam machine, you know. Well, it would be a disaster because these, you know, electronic machines today, that it's so wonderful, it's so wonderful, you know. And uh, so you learn these kind of things. Otherwise, no, it's, it's, there is no really difference. The, uh, you learn certain things, like for example, European film is more concentrating on uh, stories from the reality of people's lives. American movies are fairy tales. Most of, most, not all, but most American movies are fairy tales. Which is, I think, given by the fact that American movies really started by immigrants in the, at the beginning of 20th century, you know, around 1900. This immigrants from Europe coming to the United States, n not knowing nothing. So all these films, when you see from this period, are showing Americans how they would like to be seen, not how they are. It's fairy tales, you know. And uh, that's nice because then you, you know, combine the reality with fairy tale way of telling stories and it works. It sounds like a gimmick or something, you know, but uh, I try to be a student all the time. It's why I like to put myself in situations where I'm a novice, whether it's writing a book or making a film or something like that. Uh, or, you know, a couple of years ago I did Shakespeare on a Broadway stage for the first time. I like to put myself in situations where I feel over my, you know, in over my head, because uh, those are usually where you learn the most. Um, but I have, you know, if I've learned anything, it would be that uh, I was so much older then, I'm younger than that now, you know? Uh, what I was took it's a Dylan line, but uh, I only now know how little I know. When I was 22, I thought I knew a lot. What have I learned? <laughs> uh, as Nick Ray says in Vim Vender's film, The American Friend, a little older, a little more confused. I mean, I guess I just learned that I still have a lot to learn, you know, and it's, uh, it's a great pleasure to, to investigate a form like this and have had this chance. So, you know, I can't, I can't give you a, a straight answer to, to what I've learned, really. 
but I know I, I just love the, the I love the, the form of cinema so much. It just seems to open itself up more and more each each new fi each film I see as, as well as each film I make. But that's an impossible question. I don't know what I've learned, to be honest. I mean, I, I, I wish I hadn't learned some of the things I have learned because I think I know too much sometimes and it's, it gets in the way of my belief in my ability to get things off the ground. I think that's, that's the thing I've learned and that's the unfortunate thing. I know how difficult it is and how like, unlikely a thing won't happen. So I have to trick myself. I mean, I've written a new script and I had to write it in a month because I felt, felt, felt if it took any longer, I would lose the belief in being able to write a script. So I've learned nothing but bad things. Such as? The fact that I can't get the money to make the films I want to make. <laughs> you do, you, you get money. No, I don't. If you actually look at the time and how many films I've done and, and the things I've written that are sitting out there, most of my time is not making movies. It's about not getting movies made, trying to get movies made. There's fate, or you could say luck, or whatever you want to call it, plays a huge role in our lives. There's things that have happened to me that I can't really believe, and the thought that they didn't ha wouldn't happen, you know, where would, where would we be without certain, you know, great good fortune that seems to just to come out of nowhere? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, huge role in our lives, and there are, I know, we, we all, you know, know there are people out there with talent, maybe even great, great talent, and they just can't get arrested. How come? It's just, the, it's just fate plays a role.